This is the angled mini conical abutment. In a situation where there is an implant more anterior in the mandible, the implant more anterior is straight, and the implant more distal in the posterior area is tilted. The goal is to have the two implants and mini conical abutments parallel to each other, so it is best to use an angled abutment. This distal implant was placed in a direction close to 30 degrees. So before going in with an angled abutment, here is a try and abutment with the same 30 degree angulation. They may be parallel, but this angled abutment is a little toward to the buckle. So when changing the position to another hex position, understand that they may be parallel from the front, but from the top, the abutment isn't right. So the only way to fix that and have something in between is to re-engage the implant driver. And with the torque wrench, rotate that implant more forward. The goal now is to have the try-in abutment in a position where it's possible to see from the front and from the top. So now, prosthetically, they're very acceptable. Next, take those pins out and put a straight mini conical abutment in the more anterior implant and place the abutment 30 degrees and mini conical abutment more distal. Now, torque the angled abutment with the driver and torque to 20 newtons manually. The torque is 20 degrees. And after removing this, here are the two mini conical abutments parallel.